Welcome to your Pilates upper body sculpt. For this class, we will be using two wrist weights. You can use either one or two pound wrist weights. I have chosen two two pound wrist weights. So we'll go ahead and we'll get those on because we will use them right away. As we move through this class, you can always take the wrist weights off, do whatever feels best for you and your body, because as we know, every day is different. We will get started in a child's pose to focus on our breath and to center before we begin. Arms extend out in front of you, forehead to the mat. Take a few moments here to breathe, to center. Then we'll all take a big inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, let that go. One more time, inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. Seal the lips, find a natural cadence with the breath. Then begin to press yourself up into a tabletop position for cat cow. Inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the back. Again, inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the back. Last one, inhale, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Exhale, round through the back. Then go ahead and sit back on your heels, roll out the shoulders, three up and back, and then three forward and down. We will be in a kneeling position a lot, so if you would like, you can fold the top part of your mat and kneel on the folded section of the mat so you have a little bit more protection for your knees. Then come into a kneeling position, engage through the glutes. We'll keep the glutes squeezed the whole entire time. Ribs knit in, so strong core, strong glutes, strong foundation, arms alongside the body. Then bend at the elbows, extend the arms up towards the ceiling. So we'll move through this movement here. Warming up through the arms, the shoulders. And the next time your arms come down, flip the palms towards the back. So you get a little bit more of a tricep extension. We'll keep with this. We have six more here. Find a point in front of you to focus on. Keep squeezing through the glutes, core is engaged. We have three, two. Now after this last one, we add a hinge. So arms come overhead, bring them alongside the body, hinge backward, pump the palms up towards the ceiling, then we find our way back into an upright position. Keep through that. So each time you hinge, when you come back into that upright position, you'll really squeeze through the glutes. So this adds a little bit more of a challenge through our core and through our foundation. Inviting a little bit of the lower body in here. Keep moving through this. Neck is neutral. We have four. Last three. Last two. On this last one, hold with the hinge, pump the palms up towards the ceiling for eight, seven, six, core is engaged, four, three, two, one. Lift yourself back up, arms overhead, and then bring the arms out alongside you all the way down until in front of you. So now we find a rainbow, arms come up overhead. This time combo is with a goddess, bend through the elbows, open up through the chest. Extend the arms overhead, then find that rainbow down in front of you, lift the rainbow up, and find your goddess. So keep moving through this with the arms, 
Check back in with your glutes and with your core. Slow and controlled movement here. Lots working between the shoulders, the biceps, the core, the lower body. We're halfway through these. We have four more. Last three. Last two. Last one here. Hold with your goddess. Interlace the hands behind the head. Then find an oblique twist over towards the right. You won't find much movement here. That's okay. Come back to center. Then over towards the left. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Back to center. So really try to keep the hips in front of you framing to the top of the mat. We move left and right by engaging through the glutes. That'll help you keep your hips stable here. We have five more on each side. Last four. You might notice that with each twist, you can move a little bit deeper. Only two more. Last one to the right. Last one to the left. Then we come to center. Find a lateral oblique crunch over towards the right. Then extend left arm overhead. Hand comes back behind. Come up right. We stay to the right. Lower down. Extend the arm. Place it behind the head. Come back up. Lower down. Extend the arm. Place it behind the head, come back up. So each time you lift, you want to lift your shoulders back in line with your hips. Move as slow as you have to here to control the movement and be precise. Glutes and hamstrings are shaking because we're still engaging. Last three of these. Last two. Last one. So this time we will find that lateral crunch again. Hold, extend your top arm, bring it back. Extend your lower arm, bring it back. Top arm, bring it back. Lower arm, bring it back. Keep moving through this. Left side obliques are really working to keep you upright. Halfway through. Yes, you can. Dig deep here. Don't rush it. Last three. Last two. Last one. Both hands behind the head. Lift yourself up. Keep the bend through the elbows. As you release the hands from behind the head, bring them in over towards the hips. Now we have a lateral serve the platter. You'll extend the arms out. Bring them back in. Check in with your core. Extend them out. Bring them back in. Keep moving. Squeeze through the glutes. Imagine there's a dime in between your cheeks that you don't want to drop. We have four more. Last three. Last two. One more here. Then keeping the palms facing up towards the ceiling, bring the arms in line with the shoulders and then bring it out to the sides. Bring it back in towards midline, then bring it out to the sides. Stay here, allow the shoulder blades to slide back towards one another whenever the arms come out to the sides. You have four, three, two, and one. Arms come down, sit back, give your glutes a break. Then find a little twist 
right hand comes to outside of left leg, left hand either on the earth behind you or back behind the back over towards the right hip, gazes beyond left shoulder. Then we switch it out to the other side. Then find your way back forward. We have another round, you know where we're going. So we'll lift ourselves up, knit the ribs in, squeeze through the glutes. We lift into the shoulder press. This time we go right back into the tricep extension. Arms are nice and warm, core is nice and warm, glutes are squeezing and shaking. Lots going on. Even though this is an upper body focused class, the whole body is working here. We only have one more before we add the hinge. Now this time, add the hinge, hinge back as your palms face up towards the ceiling. Starting to break a little bit of a sweat here. Keep moving. Remember each time you come upright, squeeze the glutes. We have two more. And with this last one, we find that tricep extension pulse, hold it back with the hinge, lift, lift, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift yourself up, arms overhead. We find the rainbow, arms come in front, palms are out in front of you. Lift up, then find your goddess. Arms overhead, lower the arms. Find through your rainbow, then your goddess. I'm working so hard, my cues are starting to get a little wonky. Stay focused. Notice when the arms come overhead, if your ribs flare out. Really engage your core to try to keep that from happening. Keep moving. Last one here. We move through the full rainbow into the goddess. Hold in your goddess, hands behind the head. We find the twist, this time start to the left. Squeeze through the shoulder blades, back to center, over towards the right. Bring it back to center, over towards the left. Back to center, over towards the right. Keep moving here. After we move through these twists, We'll move into the left side oblique. We'll isolate the left side just like we did on the right. Shoulders are burning. Keep moving. Stay focused. Last two here on each side. One more. As you come back to center, find that lateral crunch towards the left, right arm overhead, bring it back behind the head and lift. Lower to the left, extend the arm, bring it behind the head and lift. Lower to the left, extend the arm, bring it behind the head and lift. Again, each time you lift yourself back up, you wanna lift into the point that your shoulders are in line with your hips. We have three more. Last two. Last one. Then we find those alternating arms, right arm overhead, bring it behind, left arm extends, bring it behind. Right arm extends, bring it behind, left arm extends, bring it behind. Keep moving, keep breathing. Right side obliques working here, keeping you lifted and stable. Still squeezing through the glutes. We're halfway through. We have three. Last two. 
last one. Bring yourself upright, keep the elbows bent, elbows come in towards the hip, lateral serve the platter. Don't rush it. Knit the ribs in. If, they, if you started to notice that you were losing your core, last four. Last one here. Then as the elbows come in, bring the palms in front, then open out to the side. Bring them in front, open to the side. We're almost done. Halfway through these, then we stretch, and our arm circuit is complete. Last two. Last one. Lower yourself down, sit onto your heels. We'll go ahead and take those weights off, place them alongside the mat. Then roll your mat back out if you folded it up for protection for your knees. And then left hand will plant on the earth, right arm overhead, rock the hips over towards the right side, find a stretch all through your right side obliques, your hip, shoulders are stacked. Then bring it back up, we move to the other side. Then lift yourself up. We'll move into a tricep stretch in our child's pose. So walk the hands forward, bend at the elbows, elbows are on the earth, palms come together, and then release the hands to the back of the head. You can walk the elbows forward to find a little bit more of a stretch here. Last two rounds of breath here. Then release the hands from behind the head. Go ahead and walk yourself up. Then release the hands at the low back, roll shoulders up towards the ears, slide them down the back, proud chest, lift the chin, stretch through the shoulders. Then you can hinge forward if you would like. And you can release, let that go. You are done with your Pilates arm sculpt for the day. You can stack this with another workout or you can be finished, it's up to you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you next time.